Hey, Holton Spark here, and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm playing Eco, and this is part five, I think, or it's part four. No, I think it's part five. No, it's, I, it doesn't matter. I'm playing Eco, and I hopped in today, and I wanted to get straight to work, but it turns out I'm out of food, and I've waited forever, actually, like, forever, for the plants down at the farm to grow. It's not happening, though. It's, it's not going to happen. Um, I was going to upgrade the hunter skill tree but I don't have um so I don't have a star so I can't actually level it up so I can't get the hunting thing so I'm gonna have to go over and get some more food down at uh, Foodland over there because you know they got a nice bit of stuff over there hopefully everyone enjoyed the BMNG drive video too I, I really do do other things besides eco I know it's crazy I do play eco a lot but you know, I also play a lot of other games, so you should definitely check it out if you like the content on the channel, because, you know, you never know, you could like the other videos too. Just a suggestion, though, you know, you don't have to, but, you know, I, I strongly recommend. Not a biased opinion at all. I was so confused for, like, a solid five minutes. I was just, I named one of my markers Dessert, and I was thinking of Dessert, like, Dessert, like, you know, you, you gotta get, like, cake or something when it's desert. Oh my god, it screwed with my brain. I went online for, like, a solid... Just that whole time, five minutes, just searching up dessert, trying to see if it was spelt like desert. Oh my god. But anyways, yeah, the reason why I'm going to the desert is, I can't, I can't say it properly now, it's gonna really screw with my head. But the reason I'm going to the desert is because I, there's no food left on the land, so I gotta go far and wide. Apparently there's some nice uh, bits of food over here, and I'm going to collect the ever-living hell out of them because you don't actually pick them up off the ground, I don't think. I think they regrow. Look at the curvature of the earth. Oh my god, flat earthers need to see this. Okay, yeah, so prickly bear fruits. What do they yield? Okay, they seem to be half decent, but I'm going to need to gather a shit ton, so fun, fun. All right, so I just about... Oh, wait, no, never mind. I was going to say I just about harvested the whole desert, but now I did, I think. Yeah, I made my way around the whole entire desert. So I should be solid on food for a nice little while. I, consu I consume like 30 berries when I'm trying to get full hunger. But um, I don't know, for the main course of things, I should be alright for a nice little while. So I'm going to go back and actually get started with what I was going to do for this video. Wait, fuck. Holy shit, the oceans in this game are deep. Holy Christ. I did not expect them to go down this far. Like last time I played this game and I went underwater, it went down like a couple blocks at most. I could see the bottom all the time. Man, that goes down, like, far. Jesus. Oh, yeah, if you're wondering why I'm in the jungle, too, you can probably notice that I'm really close to this waypoint. There's actually huckleberries over here. And if you were watching the series before, I love huckleberries. I mean, look at them. They kind of suck, like, nutrition-wise, but, I mean, they're huckleberries, so I'm going to go grab some huckleberries. Man, it looks so weird, like, the like everything just flattening out as you get closer. Like, I, I don't know. That's such a weird thing to see in a game. Like... I, I don't know. I can't get over it. How in the world is there a cactus grow? What? Did I plant that? I don't think I did. What the hell? How does that even happen? I'm so confused. But I do got a nice bit of prickly bear seeds. So I'm going to plant them. Now I'm going to plant a cactus. I didn't plant that though, I swear. Okay, I'm going to craft a shit ton of pulp mortars. And then I'm going to... I still haven't explained what I'm going to do in this video yet. So... I'm going to keep that anticipation there until I actually do it, which will be a couple seconds for you. For me, probably be another 10, 20 minutes, maybe. Okay, so I just got a shit ton of logs, and hopefully that's enough to get some shit done. AKA make, like, you know, hopefully over 100 hewn logs. So let's check. One. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah, 200 probably. Damn straight. All right, I'm making 200 hewn logs, and I also need to make some mortared stone as well and now since my mortared stone leveled up uh i don't know if that was on camera or not but my mortared stone leveled up my stoner skill so um i should be able to make a lot more with a lot less so 10 mortared stone or mortared granite sorry absolutely dog i'm down all right so now finally to explain what i'm doing all right so the trail comes down right here and it's going to go down approximately right here I'm going to wall this all off with wood, and then go up right here, stop it about right here, and then I'm going to do the same thing with the layer two blocks out right here. So I'm going to go all wood around right here, and then cross over into here, and then the stairs is going to come down right here, 
and then it's going to curve down right uh, approximately like right here or something along I'm gonna try and keep it all organized I'll see how it all turns out now in a minute I am nearly done the wall hashtag Donald Trump anyways um I've been working on this for quite a while now I'd say but it's looking pretty nice so far I'll show you from the front boom look at that shit I love it it's like I love the roofs too um, how they slant up like that, I don't know, it makes a really nice, uh, like, rail kinda, kinda look. But, I don't know, it looks really, really different. I, I like it, I like it. Eco is one of those games where you hop in, and no matter how shitty you are at building, it'll always look nice, for some weird reason. I find that everything in Eco seems to look nice, regardless of, like my old house, for example. Absolute trash, but it didn't actually look that bad from the outside. I'm gonna be honest here, I didn't find it that bad. But, um, I knew that it was like, my instincts for symmetry and everything were kicking in. They were like, how the hell did you screw up this bad on a house? That's besides the point though, because in this game, the walls, it completely flips all your Minecraft instincts. Cause like, I know a lot of people hop into this game and they're like, shit, like, I mean, I'll just take my knowledge from Minecraft. But to be honest, it actually changes a lot of shit with the walls. I mean, it's kind of similar to, like, fences, or not fences, uh, stone brick walls and stuff in Minecraft now. But, uh, huh. I don't know, there's a whole different aspect of building in Eco. It's, it's, a, it's quite weird, actually. Okay, so I think this actually looks really sick now. I'm, a, I'm, I think I'm finished with it for right now. And you may be wondering if this benefits me in any way. And to answer your question, I will say yes and no. For one, it makes it a hell of a lot easier to get down to the house that I'm going to build down here. So in the long term, it does benefit me really well. Short term though, no, it was a huge waste of resources to be completely frank. I mean, shit, what the hell is the point? But, I mean, it looks nice. It looks really nice, god damn. Although, I just thought of something. I might have to, yeah. Oh wait, no, I don't, never mind. I was gonna say I have to uh, move this back one, but I should be fine. How, f how many blocks does this go out? Okay, yeah, I'm not doing that. That's the final layer I'm doing. Then the house is going to be built down there. And I don't know how I'm going to build the house yet. I'll experiment with a couple different designs. Uh, whatever one looks nicest, I'll probably go for. But I can't get over the stone texture in this game. It looks so nice. Jesus. It's like, ah. I'm so used to Minecraft textures where everything is so uniform. There's no variety at all. And it's just the contrast and colors in this game is absolutely beautiful. So... I just gotta, just gotta say that, like, this looks pretty goddamn nice. Dirt trail, I'm not exactly sure if that's how you're supposed to use the, the paver or whatever it's called. But that's how I'm gonna use it, because it's the only way I know how to use it. Um, but yeah, I'd say that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Uh, I know I didn't do much, but I had to get a video done for tomorrow with this whole uploading daily thing. Um, I gotta record a video day prior, and then edit it, and then schedule it for the next day. Especially if I'm doing something. Which I am doing something later on tonight, so I got a schedule for tomorrow. So, you know, got to record early. So, wow, I say so a lot. Holy shit, I just now realized that. But uh, anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, definitely diddly darn do leave a like down below. And if you want to see more eco on the channel, you know, leaving a like is a good indicator that you're liking it. And by the looks of it so far, a shit ton of people are liking it. It's awesome. But yeah, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, which a lot of people aren't. But I suggest you do that because it's fun. I mean, just, just seeing that subscribe button turn gray, like, that's the best thing in the world. And uh, hit that bell icon, too, because seeing that bell icon turn gray as well, that's that's also another amazing, fun thing to do. Like, trust me, it makes this really cool sound, too, this bell sound. Oh, it's nuts. But, uh, yeah, it's been Halt and Spark, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out, dog. Yeah.